In this video, we are looking into the assembly of the safety valve. All the parts have already been cleaned and inspected and to begin with, I have mounted the valve body onto the table vise in our workshop. The sandwiching gasket between the valve body and bonnet is already in place. The spindle or the stem along with the disc should be able to go in freely and also there should not be any relative play between them. If you notice, I have applied some molly coat on some of the surfaces for lubrication. I use this over Vaseline because Vaseline will just melt away due to the heat when the valve is installed in place. Next comes the bottom spring carrier followed by the spring and then the top spring carrier. As mentioned earlier, the gasket in between is already in place. So next comes the valve bonnet. Use the top part of the spindle valve stem for guiding. As you can see, it should go in freely without any trouble. Next, the nuts and bolts. So as with every other piece of machinery, when putting the nuts and bolts, first put all of them in place. Tighten them by hand and then by spanner. Make sure that it is getting tightened uniformly as it's also important for the gasket to be compressed uniformly from all sides for a proper seal. Continue tightening while the threads are still loose, but as it becomes tight, we have to do a final tightening in a cross pattern. This is true not just for this equipment, but for almost every equipment in the machine space. As you see here, I am using the open end of a combination spanner. Ideally, you should use the ring end for the final tightening because it has a better grip and transfer the applied torque better. But if you apply too much force using the open end of the spanner, it can get distorted, bent or even broken. If you are new on the job or not so experienced, you can also use a torque spanner to ensure that all the four nuts are tightened to the same torque. How much torque you may ask? Well in that case, uh, it is depending on case to case basis and of course there is no official recommendation from the manufacturer here. So you can torque based on the size of the nut. I am sure there will be a standard torque table available on your ship, ask the seniors if you are not sure. Next is the spring tensioner or the spring adjuster. As the name suggests, this regulates the tension in the spring and thereby this step is also like setting of the safety valve. As we already know, this is not a new safety valve. Looking at the marks, color and rust, it's also easy to identify the part which was exposed and which part of the spring tensioner was inside the valve bonnet. But these are just rough calculations. The right process is to measure the height using vernier caliper before dismantling and then tighten the assembly to the same height if you have decided to reuse all the internal parts after inspection. Why? Because then you will only need to do some smile, uh, small minor adjustments during the actual setting of the valve during the function test. If you have used a new spring for example, still I would say tighten to the same height as before, maybe half turn or one turn loose because the new spring will always have greater tension than the old one and then go about setting it during the function test. I think this is the approximate position how it was before I started dismantling it. Let me confirm that with a vernier. So I measured the height and found that I have tightened a little too much. So I will loosen it to readjust and then check again. Continue this till the desired height is reached. The next step is to then lock this tensioner in place with the locking nut. To do this, use a spanner and hold the tensioner in place while at the same time use another spanner to tighten the locking nut in place. Don't go crazy while tightening, just do a hand tight and a little bit more and that's enough to keep the locking nut in place.
just for my satisfaction, I measure the height one more time to confirm that it's in order. If you have any questions about this topic or any other topic, let me know in the comments. Hit like if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more interesting content just like this. As always, thanks for watching, keep exploring. This is Rahul for Overrel and I'm gonna see you in the next one.